So now I wanted to talk about this uh, brand new series that has been screening on Binge. It's called Vigil, and uh, let's just say that this is one of the, the best British series that I think I've watched in a long, long time. I've always been a fan of, uh, of British um, crime shows, uh, going right back to things like Rebus, um, the later seasons of The Bill. I always thought that um, the British kind of... Crime shows were always a lot better than the shows like CSI and uh, NCIS and things like that. I, I find the British shows are kind of more hard-hitting. Rebus was was brutal at times, um, but they also kind of... Um, they also don't follow the same formula. One of the things I've never liked about shows like CSI is that formula that they all stick to where it's like, at this, at this time... At this minute of the show, we're going to find another clue. And you can just tell that they're written to a formula um, when the screenwriters sit down to write them. That doesn't seem to be the case, though, with British shows. You never really know which way they're going to turn next. That is definitely the case uh, with Vigil. Now, Vigil is a very, very interesting, um, interesting show in the sense that it kind of crosses over into that NCIS territory a little bit. Basically, what happens in this show is DCI Amy Silver, played by Saran Jones, and DS Kirsten Longacre, played by Rose Leslie, are called in to investigate a death on a British submarine. Now, there's been some uh, protesting about this submarine, because this submarine is a nuclear sub that uh, contains weapons that are supposed to kind of be a thing to protect all of Britain, and people aren't exactly happy with this. Uh, they think it's it's got too much power. Um, the British Navy's been given too much power with this submarine, and there's been a lot of um, protesting against the submarine. So when there's a death on board, a lot of people suddenly get very, very interested. Now, these two police officers are given the task of investigating what has happened, but to their surprise, they are told, no, the submarine can't dock. Um, it's in the middle of something very, very important. So therefore, only one of them will be able to go out to the ship, uh, to the submarine. Now, the person that's sent out is Amy. Now, we soon learn that Amy's got some uh, past demons. Uh, she lost her um, husband tragically in an accident that she blames herself for. But we find out very, very soon after she gets on board the submarine that she's also got mental health issues. Now, while she's investigating what's happening on the submarine and uh, coming up with headbutts all the way, especially from the ship's commander, Neil Newsom, played by Patterson Joseph, who makes it very, very clear that she is not wanted on board Vigil, the submarine. Now, meanwhile... Her partner, and I say partner as in both police partner and ex-partner from a romantic sense, Kirsten is left to investigate what has happened on shore. Now, she very quickly starts to uncover some very, very disturbing uh, things, which may indicate that foreign spies are involved with what has happened on board Vigil. Um... The two stories playing out together. Now, they could have got in the way with way of each other, but they don't. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. You have Amy on board of the submarine discovering things very, very quickly that, that show that there's been cover-ups in the past. And at one point, she suspects just about everybody on the submarine as being part of whatever's happened. And that adds a really great element to it. You've also got the great element that whatever Kirsten discovers on shore doesn't necessarily get transferred to Amy because there's a lot of protocol to go through. Eventually, MI5 has to be involved, um, and that means that even less information um, gets put across. You do feel that Amy is in a lot of trouble on board the submarine. You know that, uh, like, this is not really a spoiler because you kind of find out in the first episode, she you soon, very soon find out that she is trapped on board a submarine with a killer. Um, we don't know at that point why the killer has done what they've done, but you know that they don't want that exposed. 
they don't want to be exposed, so her life is in danger. And we then learn that Elsa Kirsten's life is in danger as well on shore. But this is just an absolutely fantastic crime series. If you like crime kind of stuff, go and check out Vigil because this is absolutely fantastic. It is brilliantly written. The suspense that you get throughout this is just amazing. It's something that we haven't seen on screen for, for quite a long time. The it the suspense in this show actually got to the point where I was kind of disappointed. This was one of the shows that I couldn't just sit down and binge watch all six episodes. I had to wait week to week. Some weeks we got two episodes. One week we got, uh, most weeks we only got one episode, which was an absolute killer because you just wanted to know what was going on um, from episode to episode. But look, this is an absolutely fantastic crime series. Go and check out Vigil. I can't recommend it um, highly enough, and I know I've been given a few five stars recently, but I'm going to give this one five stars as well because I just think it is an absolutely brilliant crime drama, crime thriller, uh, five stars from me.